good, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. Welcome and thank you for joining us for worship this Christmas as we celebrate our Savior's birth. Whether you are joining us on the radio, in your car, or online at home, whether you are a lifelong member or with us for the very first time, welcome. We're so glad you're with us. May the light of Christ shine brightly with you wherever you are on this holy night. We join in O Come, All Ye Faithful.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence, and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time forward, onward, and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
Go. Oh, oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Tell his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all of the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For the God of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him in all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the people with equity. Let the heavens be glad. Let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field ex exalt and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the, the people with his truth. Trinity family, from the Peterson household to yours. The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Cyrenius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. 
to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our Rock and Redeemer. Amen. A couple of weeks ago, organist Glenn Henriksen came to Trinity to play some Christmas music. In our empty sanctuary, with the video camera rolling, just a few of us gathered to record Glenn in preparation for what would be a very different kind of Christmas service this year. One of the first songs he played was Away in a Manger, a song that most of us have sung year after year after year for every Christmas we can remember. But hearing Away in a Manger this year in our empty church I was surprised to find that the moment Glenn started playing, my eyes filled with tears. Away in a manger, no crib for his bed, the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. I know I wasn't the only one silently wiping away tears. In fact, I don't think there was a dry eye in the room. Of all the years I have known and sung away in a manger, it hit me this year like it had never hit me before that Jesus was born away. His parents, Mary and Joseph, were away from home that night. A very pregnant Mary had been forced to travel about 80 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem to be counted in Emperor Augustus's census. This young couple was turned away from the inn Despite Mary being so far along in her pregnancy and possibly already in labor, even that was not enough to get them a room to stay in that night. So Jesus was born in a stable, surrounded by, I can only imagine, the sounds of sheep bleeding and the smells of cattle dwelling. Mary gave birth to her first child away from home and away from the fellow women I'm sure she would have wanted to be there to guide her through this moment. Jesus was born away in a manger, away from even the most basic comforts we would expect to accompany the birth of any child. 
As Glenn played that simple tune, not only did the words of that song hit me like never before, but the weight of this entire year that we've been through hit me in that moment too. The lives we have lost, the difficult decisions we've had to make again and again, the changes we've had to adapt to, the plans that have gone by the wayside, the uncertainty of what once was taken for granted. We have all known in some way or another what it feels like to be away this year. Away from friends and family, church and school, routines and traditions. So I hope it hits you a little differently as well this year that Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Savior of the world, was born not just anywhere, but he was born away. He was born into a world where all was not as it should have been. And this matters. It matters because if God could enter into the world in this manner, then there is no doubt God can enter into every situation, every place, and every time. If God was willing to be away from heaven, if it meant being with us, then maybe it's true what it says in the book of Romans, that nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. No matter who or what you may be away from this night or this year, there is no such thing as being away from God. When God was born in the stable that night, God changed reality forever. God joined us in our humanity and everything that comes with it. When the angels appear before the shepherds in the fields to announce this good news of great joy that has taken place, this is what that good news is all about. God with us, no matter what. If you are on the fence about God and the church, I'll make it easy for you. This is what we have to offer. Christmas doesn't offer you the good news that your problems will go away. It doesn't prevent you from going through hard times. It doesn't ensure you any shortcuts to the things you want in life. Instead, what is offered to us, which we receive as the greatest joy we could ever know, is simply Emmanuel, God with us in all things. And that gift is for you, whether you're on the fence or in the fence or on the other side of the field. God is with us in all moments of human life because he took on flesh and became fully human, born a helpless baby just like us. He lived to show us what God's love looks like in flesh and blood as he healed and taught and fed and forgave. He died to show us that not even sin or death could separate us from his love. And this good news, so simple yet so profound, has been enough to sustain God's people through generation after generation of wars and disasters and tragedies and pandemics. It was enough to sustain Mary and Joseph who were scared but who trusted that when they felt most alone, God was with them in their infant child. And this is enough to sustain us as well. And Jesus asks us to do nothing in return for this good news, but simply to offer him our humble gratitude and praise. Tonight I am praising God because God has given me what I have needed to get through this year. He has done the same for you. I am praising God a little more this year than ever before for the precious, beautiful people God has placed in my life for me to know and love. And I am rejoicing because even though sometimes I may feel like I am away in a manger, Jesus never forgets me or forsakes me. In fact, the joy he brings is something that can never be taken away. With grateful hearts, may we join in offering to God our humble praise this night. May we offer with sincerity these heartfelt words, Be near me, Lord Jesus. I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. And may you know the joy of God's nearness to you this night 
and forever. Merry Christmas. We're going to do some Christmas numbers now, and this is probably the, the earliest Christmas carol you ever learned if you were a youngster, and that would be Away in the Manger. to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth blessed are you Prince of Peace you rule the earth with truth and justice send your gift of peace to all nations of the world blessed are you wonderful counselor you enlighten the heart with steadfast love enliven your church that it may bear good tidings of great joy to all people Blessed are you, Emmanuel. You promise to be with us, even to the end of the age. Open our eyes to see your presence in all who are hungry, lonely, or homeless. Blessed are you, Son of Mary. You share our humanity. Have mercy on the sick, the dying, and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, Son of God. You dwell among us as the Word made flesh. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament, that we may bear your light to all the world. Just a reminder that your offerings can be given through our website, trinitywebstercity.org. You can mail them to our church, and there's also a secure drop box outside of the church where offerings can be brought as well. Thank you so much for your continued support of our ministry. He brings peace.
Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. A huge thank you to the many people who have participated in today's service. You can see a full list of the names of who those people are on our website. Again, that is trinitywebstercity.org. Through our website, you can also get connected to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Hope you can join us there in the future. And at this time, we will be joining in our hymn of light, Silent Night. I would invite you, if you are at home, to light a candle along with us. And if you're in your car, you might want to turn on your phone lights for this one. the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.
Go in peace, share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God.